Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a banana dulce de leche pie. It has a graham cracker crust, a dulce de leche pudding, sliced bananas covered in dulce de leche, and topped with whipped cream. This is seriously next level banana cream pie. Let's get started. You can use a regular pie crust if you like. I have a video showing how to do that. But since this is a no-bake pie, I'm choosing to do a graham cracker crust to keep the entire thing no-bake. And if you do choose to use a regular pie crust, you would have to bake it in the oven. And you can check out this video up here or click the link in the description box to learn how to do that. And in that video, when you bake it the second time, bake it for 15 minutes to fully bake the crust instead of partially bake it. To make the graham cracker crust, Add the graham crackers into a large plastic bag. Press out the excess air. And seal the bag. Then crush them using a rolling pin until it forms fine crumbs. Add the crumbs into a medium bowl. Add in the brown sugar. Melted butter and salt and mix them until well combined. Pour the mixture into an ungreased 9-inch pie pan. Spread it all over and press it down firmly so it all sticks together. And place it into the fridge for now until it's set. To make the dulce de leche pudding, in a medium saucepan, add in the whole milk, heavy cream, and sugar. Whisk them until combined. Then add the cornstarch into a separate bowl. Add some of the milk mixture into it and whisk it really well to get rid of all the lumps. Add it into the pan. Mix to combine. And place it onto the stove over medium to medium high heat and heat it until the mixture almost comes to a boil, whisking it occasionally. Once it's really heating up and you see it steaming, Whisk it constantly until it boils. You can stop whisking occasionally just for a second to see if it's boiling. Once it comes to a full boil, keep whisking it constantly over the heat for another two minutes to really thicken it up and to cook out all the cornstarch so it doesn't have a floury taste to it. Whisking it the whole time or you'll get lumps. Then remove it from the heat. Add in the dulce de leche. I showed how to make this in a previous video and I'll link to it in the description box. And add in the vanilla extract. Mix it in until combined. If you need to, whisk it well to combine everything together. Remove the chilled crust from the fridge. Pour the pudding into it. Spread it out until it's even. Cover it in plastic wrap, letting it touch the surface of the pudding so it doesn't form a skin on top and place it into the fridge for at least two hours, or preferably four hours, or even overnight, until the pudding is chilled and firm. Once it's just about ready, you can work on the next step. Cut the bananas into slices. Add them into a medium bowl. Heat up the dulce de leche just enough to make it warm and runny. Don't heat it until it's very hot.
Add a few spoonfuls into the sliced bananas. Feel free to add as much or as little as you like and stir them gently together, trying not to break up the bananas. Remove the chilled pie from the fridge. Add the dulce de leche covered bananas on top of it. And spread it out until it's even. Place it back into the fridge until the dulce de leche is cooled back down. Then to make the whipped cream, in a medium bowl, add in the heavy cream, sugar, and vanilla extract, and whip it with an electric mixer until it's thick. Try not to over whip it. Remove the pie from the fridge. Add the whipped cream on top of it and spread it out until it's even. If you're not serving it immediately, keep it stored in the fridge until then. And when you're ready to serve, cut out a slice and serve. And that's how to make a banana dulce de leche pie. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give this video a like, and check out my channel for many more videos, and subscribe to my channel for more to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.